Some Northland residents say they're living in fear of their state house neighbours claiming they're dealing drugs and fighting in the streets. They're calling on Housing New Zealand to evict troublemakers, but that could go against the agency's new soft approach on drug use. Helen Castles reports. Angela and her four children live in one of 2,000 Housing New Zealand properties in Northland and they waited months to get in. When you do get one, you really want to try and hold on to it as long as you can because it's hard. But Northland MP Matt King says not everyone deserves them. That's because in the eight months he's been in office, he's received 40 complaints about six different Housing New Zealand properties. Drug dealing, selling, um, vandalism, theft, assaults, um, violence in the street, people f using weapons, uh, general intimidation, uh, you name it, it's going on. The more serious complaints come from Kitty Kitty and Dargaville. Police have attended 70 incidents in one Kitty Kitty property over the last three years. None of the complainants would appear on camera to tell their stories for fear of retaliation. And for that reason, we've decided not to identify the properties or the streets involved. But they did tell us their pets have been poisoned. They're being threatened with violence and regularly sworn at. They're too scared to do the gardening or to go for walks. And they can't sleep because there are parties and fighting most nights. Housing NZ has thrown out two Northland tenants in the last 12 months, but has a zero eviction policy for drug use. Evicting people and making them and their families homeless makes nobody safer. The knee-jerk reaction to want to punish people has spectacularly failed time and time again. But Matt King says Housing New Zealand should set an example. I think a degree of Housing New Zealand tenants have to be evicted, have to be dealt with seriously, so that the vast majority can see you know, the, that behaviour won't be tolerated. Meanwhile, 328 other families are on the waiting list for social housing in Northland. Helen Castles, One News.